Good morning, folks. Today we've got looks at the sun, space, climate, and a new one from Billy Yelverton in the Plasma Lab. Let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star over at spaceweathernews.com. And you should see a good bit of small-scale activity around the surface, including at the northern incoming active region. The sunspots coming with it are small, but awkward to say the least. Strong flares are not probable with this setup, but CMEs are fairly common. Eyes on it as it turns in to face Earth, but also... Just this morning, the southern plasma filament is destabilizing at its southern reach near the polar crown. We'll be eager to see how this one lifts off today. Lastly in space weather, a look at the solar wind shows we're into the next coronal hole stream, which was a fight between north and south components that ended up taking away from their impact to Earth, moderate speed enhancement, and only minor geomagnetic instability a good few hours into the event. Let's head over to Hubble next for an aesthetic look at a furious star. Shrouded in dust and gas, we see that from within, there is a cosmic jet blasting out. The extra material all around it, falling into the stellar region, is what has triggered this activity. We're heading out to the outer reach of the solar system next. Folks, this has been a huge issue in astronomy. Half of astronomers thinking there is an unseen planet out there, while others wish to blame thousands to tens of thousands of smaller dwarf planets well past Pluto. It turns out, the second one is the only option supported by the evidence today. If there was a major planet out there, we would see clustering of the Kuiper objects, not to mention we probably would have spotted the planet by now, and we see none. It is a flat distribution. For the next one, well, it will help to be up to date on the fact that they can't find dark matter, and what the minority of us claim is that what they're really missing is plasma that's hard to see and its electromagnetic effects. Here. I'll give points for creativity in combining the two. In reality, if they weren't discussing a magic mystery particle, but instead they were discussing matter that's dark and that they just can't see it, this would be right on. Their best explanation is electromagnetic activity missed in the universe, but again, they assign it to Tinkerbell. We're heading over next to CLASP-2, mapping the magnetic fields of the sun at small scale and discovering some surprises. Most notably, the variation over distance and altitude in the corona, hopefully this will aid in their understanding of both flaring cycles within an active region and the longer activity cycles on our star. Folks, there's a new article out explaining a bit more on what is likely the climate paper of the year so far. After Geology and Science had published works on this in the last year, Nature did it earlier this year. You recall they confirmed melting ice at the poles is how Earth triggers an ice age. It is a delicate balance that keeps Earth's ice locked at the poles, and the default mode of Earth is glaciation. These inner glacials are the exception. We've got to remember our expose in 2013 called Disturbance Under the Ocean. You'll recall unbelievable activity at the bouncing buoy in the middle. They took that one down and offline three days after our video, and it has not come back all these years later. But the unusual events in the area sure have continued. Here we have another mass stranding event of whales, this time near the meeting point of Earth's shifting magnetic poles, and apparently after they rescued some of the whales, they tore right back onto the beach out of the water. Last but not least, soap bubbles. What they look like can vary wildly. What's the soap to water ratio? Which brand of soap? Is there glycerin in the mixture or impurities? The swirl and rainbow patterns are usually based on those characteristics, but when you add a strong magnet, you get stripes. This is starting to look like Jupiter, and yes, we're in the Yelverton lab, and as I enhance color, watch Billy's latest as the magnet wasn't enough for him. He hit the electricity. From the extra action to the formation of cyclonic forms, including one that looked like the great red spot on Jupiter, this is electromagnetic weather on a soap bubble to be scaled up accordingly. We greatly appreciate your support. Website members, watch his entire new video in your Deeper Look section at suspiciousobservers.org today. The last couple Deeper Look episodes are pretty darn good, actually. And you've got your weekly Fly on the Wall podcast coming to the site in a few hours as well. If you are visiting Observer Ranch today, I'll see you at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.